Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 51 of Skill into Glory. And uh, we start things off by uh, by applying a attribute card to Arroyo because in the previous episode we actually ended off with a uh, with a sort of a rage quit. I guess my opponent lost his connection, so um, yeah, we applied the attribute card to Arroyo, and we go into the first game of this episode where we uh, come up against a Syria side. Pretty much all the players were none there. Also, one silver and also uh, in form Francesco Toddy as the center taking mid, and uh, we get things start off there. A beautiful pass there all the way to neither Sifji our striker and uh, we still need to score that final skill goal and final fancy finish so uh, that was I was uh, kind of hoping for but unfortunately his defender blocked it off nicely and then uh, instead in a 28th minute he has the ball with Totti uh, great tackle there from Fernandes but then he actually got injured my other defender kind of tripped over him we missed the slide tackle and he actually makes it 1-0 so a pretty frustrating goal to concede especially because like I couldn't really do anything two of my defenders kind of ran over each other again just like a couple episodes ago but um yeah that is uh, that is what happens uh, from time to time so yeah my opponent makes it 1-0 then we got another big chance with Arroyo could have been a goal as well but again uh, as defender I think or a goalkeeper just saved it so um, these were the halftime stats it was very very even uh, he only had a little bit more possession but apart from that the game was uh, pretty even I guess so uh, we went to the second half it's my opponent on the ball there with Palacio uh, he decided to pass it across to Varela but then an amazing save there from our goalkeeper who pretty much kept us into the game especially into the second half because in the 61st minute another great save there from our goalkeeper actually went through his legs and then with the inside of his foot he actually managed to save it which was uh, which was pretty nice then in the 71st minute we picked the ball up there with Chalanoglu we tried a long shot and we actually put it into the back of the net to make it 1-1 and uh, actually get us back into the game a beautiful goal there from uh, from Chalanoglu to, uh, to make it pretty much all even and you can see from the full time stats also in the second half it was extremely even everything was pretty much the same we both had the same amount of possession uh, same amount of shots and also same amount of shots on target so uh, it was it was really even uh, and I think fair enough that we had to go into extra time and uh, it was actually us uh, creating most of the chances I guess in the in, in extra time especially with Ribery since I decided to sub on we got the goal there to make it 2-1 and um, I guess make it game over because uh, in the 120th minute we got another chance with Ribery a nice bit of play there we uh, we got past the defenders quite easily since uh, Ribery was only on the pitch for a couple of minutes and he already got his second goal in the 120th minute so um, yeah we end up winning the game 3-1 to one, and you can see from the stats as well especially in, uh, in extra time we uh, we were the dominant side so um, yeah we ended up winning the game luckily enough then uh, we go into the second game of this episode and we camp against a team with only 50 chemistry and this is where I saw my chances because we obviously still need to get that final skill goal and final uh, final fancy goal and we only had two games left so this was a big, uh, big chance to actually get those uh, challenges just completed and in, uh, in the first uh, few minutes my opponent had the ball but then after three minutes or so we uh, we did pick it up there with Vitinho play it off to Sifji who went on a nice skill run beat a few defenders we beat the goalkeeper as well and we finished off with the fancy shot that we actually needed so uh, we got two challenges completed at the same time and you might notice it it was sort of a no look shot ish I guess usually I wouldn't count those because I think no look shots in general in FIFA anyway aren't really that spectacular but uh, I asked you guys on Twitter and uh, pretty much everyone said basically that I should count it as a fancy shot so uh, that is the reason why I decided to count it this time and why we actually completed the challenges which is uh, which is pretty awesome I guess because we finally can move on to the new 5 star skiller and you can see in the background we uh, we actually were on uh, 16 goals I do believe with Arroyo which is pretty awesome since we only needed to, uh, to score 12 goals but um, yeah this, uh, this is pretty much sort of a recap as I usually do with all the goals that we need to score at this time and um, yeah I'll be talking a little bit about the team and I think the team overall was really really fun to play with first I thought it would be maybe a little bit too attacking since the midfield wasn't really like the greatest especially defensive wise but uh, it was actually a really really fun team and had no problems with it at all although there was one little problem I guess that is that uh, a lot of players actually got injured a lot of times uh, I don't really know if that's something to do with uh, with just the players or maybe a lot of them were injury prone I'm not really too sure but that is something I noticed but um, yeah overall the team was really really fun also the goalkeeper was uh, was probably one of the best goalkeepers I've used so far this year in all the teams so um, I would definitely recommend him if you decide to uh, to use him maybe for a Turkish team or something so um, yeah right now we usually would move on to the new five star skiller that uh, usually would be Asaidi but there are obviously a few upgrades we got Kishna. 
uh, Bolasi and also uh, Botaka. And I think it would be fair to start off with the lowest 5-star skiller, the newest, uh, which is Botaka. He's 66 rated. Bolasi and both Kishna are 73 rated. But um, yeah, I think it would be fair to start off with the lowest ones. Uh, do let me know in the comments down below. And if you agree with me, then uh, feel free to uh, to make a squad around Botaka because I think that is the 5-star skiller we, uh, we will use uh, in the next episode pretty much. So um, yeah, feel free to do that. You can uh, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or uh, just to let me know in the, in the comments down below pretty much. Uh, links to my Twitter and Facebook will be in the description down below as always. And uh, you can see in the background as well, we actually got another 5-star skiller in the pack. But uh, funnily enough, we already packed him previously. Uh, we got his non-upgrade version. And uh, whenever we pack a 5-star skiller, it means that we can pretty much use any version of him. So we already uh, were able to use the pie since we already had his uh, non rive version in the pack. So it doesn't really do anything for this series right now since we already got his other version. But it's pretty cool to actually uh, get his upgraded version. Uh, it would be pretty sweet as well if you we could maybe build a team around him and Botaka in the same team since they obviously are from uh, from the Dutch league. Both are Dutch as well, so it would be uh, would be pretty easy to make a team around them, I guess. But uh, anyway, we move on to the final pack, the final 7.5k packs in total. We uh, we were allowed to open seven packs since we actually had two games left with the Arroyo skill squad. But uh, you can see in the background, we did not really pack anything special. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. And if you can hit two thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye